At the heart of a 3D experience platform is data management. With that comes two different ways to store our files in the Vaso cloud. Each of those having their own ways to how the data is actually managed once it's in that cloud. The first way to store data in the cloud is with 3D space. This allows for team members to collaborate on projects, share ideas, and track different things like the versions or revisions of a specific model. Within 3D space, you have what are called collaborative spaces, and that's where you actually are storing the data and make it easy to search through them using different keywords and 6W tags. The biggest benefit of 3D space, that's that is connected to almost any other role that you would use on the 3D experience platform. This ultimately means that we're able to open up these files from inside of 3D space directly into other apps. The other side of this means that if we're in those other apps, we're able to interact with those files that are sitting in a 3D space as well. For example, you know, we're using SOLIDWORKS Connector or SOLIDWORKS Connected to design an interface with the 3D Experience platform. And this allows me to interact with the files in my 3D space while I'm working in a familiar SOLIDWORKS window. Editing, saving, and I can even move those files into a new workflow state. The other option for file storage is to use 3D Drive. Now this app functions very similarly to other cloud file storage systems. You know, things like Google Drive or Dropbox. 3D Drive is a great way to collaborate with users internally and externally because you are able to create shareable links from inside of 3D Drive and send them out to users outside of your 3D experience tenant. Similar to 3D Space, 3D Drive can be accessed outside of the browser as it has a Windows-based application, and you're able to install that locally on your computer, and that helps you mirror files from a local drive to a cloud storage system. So this means that whether the files are added on the browser side, and I'm uploading these to the 3D Experience platform, or I'm sticking them in a local folder, it's gonna be mirrored across, but we're not gonna have those lifecycle management capabilities like we would have in 3D Space. Both of these solutions can be successfully integrated into the 3D Experience platform and allow us to safely and securely share and save our files. But the first step is knowing when to use each of them.